Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here we're going to cover question 35 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. We're going to tackle this problem where Layla connects five boxes to create a rectangular prism as shown below. The dimensions of each box are 9 centimeters by 9 centimeters by 9 centimeters. What is the total surface area of the rectangular prism? So if you have an idea of how to solve this problem, go ahead pause, uh, and try it, pause the video and correct yourself with the rest of the video. If not, then we need to do the step one for any problem, which is to know the theory behind it. To find out how to find the surface area of a box, you can click the link in the top right corner and it's also in the description and it's a Khan Academy video to find the surface area of a box. But essentially the surface area of a box is if you were to wrap a Christmas present, a, a box, how much paper, what is the area of the paper? So how much total paper would you use essentially? Assuming that you don't have any overlap. So, and just to review, if we have a square with a base and a height, then the area of that square is just base times height. So to find this, the area of our prism, we can move on to step two and we need to find the area of the long faces and keep in mind that it's nine by nine by nine. So it, there's five cubes together. A cube is a box or a prism with um, lengths of equal side. So a square prism with lengths of equal side. So we know that this dimension is nine centimeters. This dimension is nine centimeters. And then this, each box is nine. So nine, 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 nine. So we have five times nine. So if we do the math here, five times nine centimeters is equal to 45 centimeters. So we have that our long side is equal to 45 centimeters. So we have different, uh, different phases, right? We have four of the yellow ones, and then we have two of the other faces here. So if we do the math here, we have the yellow ones. So uh, let's do it. And then the other one. So in yellow, we have the surface area. So I'll write the uh, surface area of the yellow is equal to the base times the height. So let's do a little drawing here. Or maybe I, I should do it like this, right? We have four times, because if we go around the box, we have four times the, the area of 45 by nine. So the surface area of the yellow is simply four times the area of each rectangle. So that's 45 centimeters by nine centimeters. And I, I can, we could do this in our heads, but I feel a little bit lazy right now. So we have 405 centimeters squared. And that's uh, times four, right? So that's 405 centimeters squared. So when we do this times four, so that's four times 405, that's 1620 centimeters squared. So we have that the surface area for the yellow stuff is 1620 centimeters. And if I do it a little bit lower for the green part, for so for the green part, we have two times a squared of nine centimeters by nine centimeters. So when we do the surface area of the square, we have two times nine centimeters by nine centimeters, nine times nine is 81. So we have two times 81 centimeters squared and we have 162 centimeters squared. So now the total surface area, and we could visualize it something like this, right? If we were to unfold or develop, sometimes they call this prism, we would have something like this. So these are the long sides and then we'd have our two bases, right? So this is 81, this is 81, this is 405, this is 405, this is 405. So 
and then when we add these two, that's the surface area of the bases. So then the total surface area, total surface area is equal to uh, 1620 centimeters squared plus 162 centimeters squared. And if we do this in our head, that's 1782 centimeters squared. Is that one of the answers? Yes, it is. And we're done. We can also check our answer by doing the long multiplication here or doing times five times four, I mean, and then plus 81 times two, if we look at our development, and that's the same answer. So that makes sense here. That, that makes sense. And what, whatever works with you, right? It, it depends on everyone. But let's go ahead and build some intuition. Okay, let's go a little bit further. So what is the total surface area of the five boxes if they were not connected? So take each box, find its surface area, and add them together or do times five, right? Because they're all the same. So, and do you expect the surface area of the five boxes when they're not connected to be larger or smaller than when they are connected? So let's tackle the second question first. If they are connected, then we lose all this surface area, right? That the inside doesn't count. So we would lose some surface area, but everything else remains. So technically we would lose four times 81. So let's see where uh, it would be 1782 minus four times 81. So maybe I'll type it in and then we can check our answer at the end. So it, I'll just write it here, 1782. And then if I, if I subtract the four purple parts and each part has nine times nine area, so that's where it comes from, we, we should get the final answer. But uh, of the prism, so, but let's find the and it, sorry, it shouldn't be the 1782, it should be the total unconnected. So let's do it after. And that should be 1782. So let's find the total surface area of this thing. So if we have nine, nine and nine, and we could develop this thing, it would look something like this, right? It would be, you have four sides, or that's, that's five, sorry. And then you have your two bases and each part is nine times nine. So then we have six faces of nine times nine. So we have that the surface area for one box is equal to six times nine centimeters times nine centimeters. So that's six times 81. and that's 46 centimeters. So that's 486 centimeters squared. So that's for one, one box, right? So the total surface area unconnected is you have five boxes. So five times a 486. So you have five times 486 centimeters squared and then that's 2,430. That's 2,430 centimeters squared. It is greater, which makes sense. Now let's test our answer. We had, if we remove the purple parts, we should get 1782. Now, is this true? We get 200, uh, 2,430 minus four times 81. So that's the purple part. So I'll just draw that in. So that's four times the purple parts. And then when we press enter or equal, will we get the same answer? Note that 2106 is not the 1782 we expected. So we know we did something wrong here. And the thing we did wrong is that when we put two cubes together, we don't only lose one side of the surface area, we lose the other side of the surface area as well, right? So we would lose 
this side and this side. So it's not like we only lose four. We really, we lose eight in total. So when I do eight, should I get 1782 and we do. So that's, that's where we went wrong here. And it's good, right? We notice our mistakes, it helps build intuition. And that's a whole point of this question. I hope you enjoyed this question. The best way to support the YouTube channel is to share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, comment, and like the video if you want as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video of Do The Work.